Hi, I'm Vic and I'm the skipper of Northern Moment and this week we're at Hamilton Island for Hamilton Island Race Week. Today we're going to give you some tips on sailing safely. We're cruisers, um, but um, I think everybody should race because um, it forces you into situations that um, stretch you, so uh, it pushes the boundaries. The other thing I like about racing is that there's different categories uh, of racing and each category requires a safety compliance to that uh, category. Knowing that you've met a recognised standard uh, of safety uh, allows me to sleep. Fire extinguisher here and a fire extinguisher upstairs in each of the cockpits. We have uh, an EPIRB here and a uh, second EPIRB uh, on the top side here. Emergency fuel cutoff if it was ever required. Uh, we also have emergency gas um, cutoff. Uh, this boat is also fitted with a, uh, a gas alarm should we have uh, a leach of gas uh, a, a, and a fire alarm as, as well. Yeah, we're, we're equipped with a lot of redundancy here. Uh, instead of having one radio, we had two. Instead of one sharp plotter, we had two. Um, so everything is duplicated um, in case something fails. And that's, that's all about the long trip we're going on. That's why we've got two EPIRBs and, uh, and so on. So I'd just like to introduce you to some of the uh, personal protection gear that's uh, necessary on, a, uh, on our little trip today. Firstly, uh, gloves. One of the biggest hazards we got is uh, potential rope burns uh, of uh, people allowing the uh, nylon rope to go through their hands. When it comes to life jackets, um, our life jackets are more than uh, life jackets. Uh, they actually are harnessed uh, life jackets. They actually have a built-in harness as well. One of the greatest uh, hazards out there is man overboard, particularly when you're uh, travelling uh, short-handed. Um, Samoe and I, uh, just the two of us on board, uh, if one of us goes over, um, uh, it'd be quite easy for the other not to uh, have noticed uh, immediately. So uh, each of us carry uh, PLBs, personal location beacons. They're like, a, uh, they're like an EPIRB, um, and uh, what that will do is send a, a signal to the satellites uh, to the Canberra Response Centre. Um, and uh, they'll organise uh, our rescues. Uh, this boat is fitted with uh, AIS, which is an uh, automatic identification system. It's compulsory on uh, commercial vessels and uh, optional on uh, uh, private vessels. And what it allows you to do is for you to see other boats fitted with AIS and for them to see you. With that, um, we can actually zoom in uh, to those um, individual boats and we can actually see the, um, some parameters, uh, speed and direction they're going at, and also their course signal. So we're able to um, uh, call them up and um, uh, notify them uh, uh, what our intentions are, should there be an imminent collision. Uh, this is a throw bag that's required, that's a throw line. Again, that's safety rating, I, I need that. So this is a, a dam boy um, you know, that is thrown uh, over. And behind you is actually a, uh, a sling that is used to um, recover a, uh, a man overboard. Safety first on this boat. Uh, there's too many um, bodies found with the fly undone and uh, we just don't want a man overboard. So simple rule on this boat, you need to pee, there's a toilet there. <laughs>